Hello, I'm Bartok Knudsen, and in this session we are going to look at what we've done for the job queue in this wave. And I would say with this wave we technically already re released it, but it belongs to this wave. I'm briefly touching upon what is the job queue, because most people use it. Uh, and then what's different here in wave 2. So, first of all, it's not so much a queue as it is a way to schedule background tasks. And we have a system command, as you can see in the screen, where we create a task and then we specify which code unit to run, which code unit to call if it, if you have an error, when to run it, uh, and which record to process. But it's also an application feature, where we in the application have uh, there are two examples on the screen. Maybe we want to run a report or a code unit. Maybe there are some parameters. Maybe we want to, re to reschedule it when it's done so we can have a recurrence. And there's one particular field that we are going to touch upon in this presentation, which is the um, category code, job queue category. And that's used for if you want only one of these jobs to run at the same time. It's typically used for sales and purchase order posting, where we only can post one sales order or purchase order at the same time, if you want to avoid locking. Um, otherwise, you don't need this field. So how does it work, or how did it work before? So the job starts, and the first thing we do is that we look at, does it have a category code, like the one we just showed? Uh, if no, then we just run the task and we're done. If yes, there is a category code, then we check, does anyone else with the same category run? No, then we run and we're done. Otherwise, we figuratively, figuratively hang up and try again later. Actually, just like when you try to call the pizza delivery. Uh, or the doctor. So you, you make a try. If it's busy, you try again later. And that works fine if very few people schedule this at the same time. But if there's a long queue, it means you need to call very often, like the pizza delivery or doctor. You need to try many times before you get through. But also it means that the execution order is random. Even you were the first to call, or sorry, the second to call, obviously, uh, you may also be the last to get through. And again, if there's a long queue, we'll have to reschedule a lot. Again, similar to you needing to call a lot of times before you finally get through. And it's this specific thing that we have changed uh, now. So, if you remember this schema, then, so the normal flow is the same, but if there's a category and someone else is running, then we go to sleep. So we set status to waiting and we schedule a task that is not ready. And then we actually don't do anything more. The process that was running, remember, and someone else was running at this time, when they're done, they will go out and say, activate next in queue, meaning you or someone else. Uh, and then they're done, and you can start your turn. So this is more like actually lining up in a queue, as supposed, as you're supposed to. Um, and we also get the correct execution order, because you know you have a number and you keep that number in the queue. So if you are first in, you're also first out. Uh, and finally, since we are to pick the next number down here, we can actually introduce priority. We can allow someone to skip the queue, because we actually did have a customer who had a lot of sales postings and purchase postings all with very, very large orders, thousands of lines. So each single order would be minutes. And sometimes they would have queued up half an hour uh, of 
worth of uh, jobs waiting, but they may have a, you know, something very urgent that they want to prioritize. Maybe the truck was waiting outside or whatever. So that's why we introduced priority as well within that category. Uh, and that's basically it. So the, the only thing we did, we added a new status code waiting, and that corresponds to sleeping, if you will. Thank you. That's it.